test for consistency and solve so we need to check for the consistency and then solve there can be two cases only either it will be consistent or non consistent non consistent means no solution so no further solving consistent means either unique solution or infinitely many solution unique solution mean uh, will find uh, the solution easily and in case of infinite solution we will find a general solution because we cannot uh, write all the infinite number of solutions so we will write a general solution so let's start whenever you get uh, your equation write the augmented matrix for that so c equals to just simple 5374 uh, you must have noticed what i am writing 5374 now 326 2 and 9 and finally 7 2 10 and then 5 so find till now i don't think uh, there is any short of a problem the only problem is we need to uh, convert this to equation form but in this particular problem we don't have a one here so we will have to create one here so uh, we can write r1 to r1 divided by 5 so this will convert to 1 3 by 5 7 by 5 and 4 by 5 don't worry uh, about the fractional uh, things that will be taken care of later on so it will have 3 26 2 and 9 and 7 2 10 and 5 only benefit it is we are getting one here and with the help of this one we will be able to convert this 2 into 0 easily at least further we will have to think so two operations r2 to r2 minus r1 into 3 and another operation r3 to r3 minus 7 times r1 so we will get uh, 1 3 by 5 7 by 5 and 4 by 5 as it is this will become 0 this will also become 0 now uh, multiply this by 3 so 9 by 5 so we have 26 minus 9 by 5 so lots of rough, uh, rough work are going on here 26 minus 9 by 5 that will be 130 minus 9 divided by 5 so this is 121 by 5 i think yes it is 1 2 1 by 5 now this so we have 2 minus 21 divided by 5 so this is 10 minus 21 which is minus 11 by 5 now we have this uh, 9 minus 12 by 5 so this is 45 minus 12 by 5 which is 33 by 5 okay fine r3 to r3 minus 7 times r1 so this will be 2 minus 21 by this i have already written 0 2 minus 21 by 5 so uh, 2 minus 21 by 5 okay so 10 minus 21 by 5 minus 11 by 5 so minus 11 by 5 then we have 10 minus uh, 49 by 5 so that will be 10 minus 49 by 5 so 50 minus 49 by 5 uh, that means uh, you have uh, 50 minus 49 that is simply 1 by 5 now here 5 minus uh, 28 by 5 so 5 minus 28 by 5 25 minus 28 by 5 that is minus 3 by 5 now we need to uh, put our works on so let's see what we can do further uh, we can multiply this by 11 add this to so it's looking simple now r2 r2 plus 11 times r3 okay. so this will become 1 3 by 5 7 by 5 and 4 by 5 as it is so this is 0 this is 0 now if you multiply this by 11 and then add 
this is 0 multiply this by 11 and then add this is 0 this will become 33 by 5 with a minus sign and this is already 33 by 5 with a plus sign so now 0 minus 11 by 5 1 by 5 and minus 3 by 5 okay now I think you should stop here because you already have got a complete row as 0 so I think you should stop here and uh, this was our augmented portion so from here we can say that the rank of A is because uh, in A we have three rows and out of these three rows we have one zero uh, completely zero so rank will be two number of non-zero rows and rank of the augmented matrix is we have uh, two non-zero rows augmented is this complete matrix so we have this non-zero and this non-zero so uh, its rank is also two so if rank of A equals to rank of C this will uh, confirm what that this is consistent and in this case this is less than 3 both of them equal to 2 which is less than 3 you can write this as like this R A equals to R less equals to 3 which is uh, sorry equals to 2 which is less than 3 so whenever rank of our matrix is equal to rank of the uh, augmented matrix both of them equal to something which is less than the number of variables here number of variables is 3 x y and z so in this case we have infinite number of solution had this been equal to 3 so r a equals to r c equals to 3 that would have been a case of unique solution had this not been equal that would have been the case of inconsistent that is no solution so here our main motto now is infinite solution so we will have to work on this infinite solution so I need this augmented matrix once more so let's copy this so I have 1 3 by 5 7 by 5 and 4 by 5 then I have shunya 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 that is 0 then we have 0 minus 11 by 5 1 by 5 and minus 3 by 5 now uh, convert this to ax equals to b format uh, you uh, you can directly multiply by x y z and this is the constant term but for the sake of formality just uh, multiply this by uh, sorry write this in the form of ax equals to b so uh, we have this 1 3 by 5 7 by 5 0 0 0 and 0 minus 11 by 5 and 1 by 5 now a column matrix which consists of variables and then we'll have uh, equals to uh, this 4 by 5 0 and minus 3 by 5 now just multiply so uh, directly uh, we can write this multiplied by x plus 3 by 5 into y plus 7 by 5 into z equals to 4 by 5 this is the first equation we got uh, from here uh, we'll get nothing and from the third equation we'll get uh, 0 into x minus 11 by 5 into y plus uh, 1 by 5 into z that is z by 5 equals to minus 3 by 5 okay now uh, I am uh, simplifying this more I can uh, uh, what I can do is uh, we have this so cancel uh, this uh, 5 from both the sides so minus 11 by plus z equals to minus 3 okay so this is uh, my simplified version now this is your equation 2 now what I will do since I cannot find all the values of x y and z because it's an infinite uh, solution case so I will let z equals to k so once I let z equals to k now I can write minus 11 y plus k equals to minus 3 you can uh, k is uh, your uh, various inputs which you will put you can uh, put k equals to let's suppose 2 then according to that uh, 
the values will change so you will get a uh, one ordered pair so minus 11y plus k equals to uh, minus 3 so minus 11y equals to minus 3 minus k so get uh, you can cancel out minus sign from both the sides so 11y equals to 3 plus k and uh, you can write y equals to 3 by 11 plus k by 11 so this is uh, your value of y in terms of k but that uh, you can uh, choose from yourself whatever value of k you want one by one and you get different uh, sets of solutions so now uh, coming to uh, equation number one once again so we have x plus 3 by 5 times uh, y which is 3 by 11 plus k by 11 and plus 7 by 5 times z and z is k this equals to 4 by 5 now I want x so throw everything as to that side so 4 by 5 minus 7 by 5 k uh, minus 9 by uh, minus 9 by 55 and uh, minus 3k by 55 is it clear I think it should be now um, we can take LCM and simplify it further so we have 55 so 44 minus uh, 77 K then we have minus 9 minus 3 K so X equals to uh, 44 minus 9 is 35 minus 80 K I think divided by 55 so x is 35 by uh, 35 by 55 which is 7 by 11 we cancel by 5 minus 16 by 11 k okay so this is your value of x you already chosen x, z equals to k this is the value of y this is the value of x so that's it from my side I have already uh, uh, cleared you that uh, there will be two uh, cases either it will be consistent or non-consistent inconsistent rank of A equals to rank of augmented matrix so in consistent uh, we have two uh, subdivisions first one is unique solution then we have the infinitely many solution in case of unique solution rank of augmented matrix equals to rank of matrix A both of them equal to number of variable in case of uh, infinitely many solution which was in this particular question rank of A equals to rank of augmented matrix both of them being lesser than number of variables and uh, if the rank of augmented matrix and the rank of A is not equal then that is clearly the case of non consistent that is no solution in that case you uh, don't need to find any solution because you have no solution there so that's it that's a simple uh, understanding of uh, system of linear equations